Welcome to Network Nuts. My name is Alok Srivastava and in this video I am going to show you how to hack a password protected single user mode. One thing I'd like to make it very clear that these videos should be used only for the educational purpose and should not be used for any illegal or illegitimate activities. So here I am starting. The problem is that I have got a virtual machine installed here for you. I'll just click here. What I had done, I had edited my init tab file and I had put this line su colon capital S colon wait as been su login. By entering this line into the init tab file, I am actually password protecting my single user mode. It means if somebody reboots the machine and press E and then try to go in the single user mode, the machine will still ask him for the root password. Let's check it out. I saved out. I do a reboot here. And now I will try to come in. Now I will try to come in by pressing or by going into the single user mode. You just need to wait for a couple of minutes. It will take its time. The machine is going down. Now I don't know the password and me or somebody else is or uh, like I, I don't know the password and I'm trying to break in by going into the single user modes. So let's see what will happen. Here it is. It is reboot. I press W a one here. I press E. It is usually what uh, we do. E I press one or single user mode. I press the B here. But because I had made the entry in the init tab file, I should be prompted for the root password. Let's see. It will take its time. Just wait. Coming up. Good. I should be prompted for the root password. Though I had use the run level one or the single user mode to enter into the machine. It will take its time. Here it is. Give root password for maintenance. So though I had specified the kernel that I, I want to go in the run, run level one, I should still be prompted for the password. And after I give the password, I can enter the machine. I I want to hack this. I don't know the password and I want to hack this. Let's see how to do it. I'm rebo I'm rebooting the machine again. Take time. Now. Just wait. Yeah, going down. F12, one, here. Here's the hack. You go in the kernel line, press E, instead of writing one here, write init is equal to bin bash. It means I am instructed the kernel do not go for any routine startups do not check the file system do not check the password do nothing just give me simple bash let's see I press B now if everything is right I should not be prompted for the password which was coming previously let's see Again, you have to be patient. That's great. Look, I am getting the bash shell without being prompted for the password, though the previous administrator or the machine specified that you should be prompted for the password at the run level one. Now, can I give the password command? Let's check it out. I can give the password command. I can check the I, I can reset the password. No, I will not. The machine will not allow me to change the passwords. Look, password authentication token lock or busy. 
actually what happened when you uh, start the, the 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 machine by giving init is equal to slash bin slash bash the file system is mounted in a read only manner so what i need to do i need to give mount hyphen o remount comma read write slash means i am forcing the file system to now start or in the remount itself in the read write mode now i should be able to give the password command and i should be able to change the password bingo that's great beautiful it's a small hack but just a word of caution here before you shut down the machine you should after doing like resetting the passwords or other thing that you want to do you should again remount it in the read only mode and then your init will not work here because no scripts has been initialized so now you can press the reset button safely I hope you liked it so I'm pressing because it's a virtual machine I'm just making sure that I do it machine or I close it here from here I can do it safely power of the machine so I had just shut down my machine hope you have liked this video I'll I would like to summarize the steps here just a, mo a moment I had a small thing for you here what you need to do you need to to, to put this parameter while pu when I pass this parameter actually I am saying that rather than starting the has been in its scripts and going through the routine scripts just give me the shell I hope you like this video thank you very much